league, and especially in your division, they're all pretty experienced, but they're all kind of different. Well, it's a tough game every year or every uh, week in the Pac-12, and you're going to get a variety of offenses, and then you're going to get uh, the quarterback that can sling it uh, 70 times a game. You're going to get the quarterback that can throw and also uh, do a threat and run the ball. So, I mean, being playing in the Pac-12 really – really exploits who's an athlete and who isn't and I think it, it, it's, it's healthy for the conference and I'm I just feel like the Pac-12 is one of those toughest conferences in the nation. You guys were over sanctioned uh, obviously for something that happened a long time ago and you current guys took the brunt of the punishment for it. Is there a different focus now that the probation is done with and you guys want to show the country, the Pac-12, everybody that maybe they made a mistake and kind of a... Well, we were never going to use the sanctions as a crutch. I mean, even when we were on sanctions, we went 10 and 2. The first year we were on sanctions, and then, I mean, we had one slip up, you know, seven and six seasons. And we've had two 10-win seasons back to back. And the sanctions, they hurt us. You know, I mean, I can ignore them like we didn't, but at the same time, we still are SC and we're not going to use that as an excuse. We still should have finished some of the games we did last year. And this year, the upcoming season, we were off sanctions. So. It's not about excuses, but more using it as, as, uh, as hey, we were over sanctioned and we want to show everybody that you shouldn't have done it. Well, we're not worried about that. I mean, uh, what's done is done. We can't change the past. So, like I said, we can't use it as an excuse. We're not worried about what other people think about the sanctions. We're just going to go out and play our game. Do you guys appreciate the bullseye on your back? Do you guys want that? To I mean, if there's a bullseye on our back no matter what. I mean, US, everybody wants to beat USC. You beat USC, and it's like we have accomplished something. I mean, what you have, I mean, um, we're a prestigious program, and uh, we like that. You don't come to USC if you're afraid of competition. And we don't shy away from the big games. Some of the Pac-12 coaches talk about wanting to fly under the radar. They wish there were no rankings. Uh, at USC, it seems like you guys always, year after year, want that. Want yeah, that. I mean, when well, the players, we recruit, we recruit players that are ready to go and battle and compete. And that's all we need. Coach Sark was talking about how you're able to compartmentalize losses, big victories. How do you compartmentalize the expectations that are on this team? We just got to focus on ourselves. I mean, we can't get caught up in the hype. And last year you saw we, we beat Stanford. And we were in the top 10. It's all SC's back, SC's back. And I feel like we, we ate some of that hype up and we went to Boston College and they ended up storming the field on us at the end of the game. So this year we just got to focus on ourselves and just keep the main thing the main thing. How do you do that? I mean, it's easy for you to do it probably because you're a veteran, but and there's a lot of young guys on the team, or maybe some people aren't as good at doing that as you are. How do you kind of well, convey year, that message? Last year, I, wouldn't, I probably wouldn't have an answer for you. But this year, I mean, just with the family team that we have, we're more of a family. So we're all on the same page. And once something's said, let's focus on this game. That's all that needs to be said, and that's how we do it. We're all on the same page. So speaking about family, you were talking about Jordan Cameron earlier, but you take a look at your bio, and it's kind of like a who's who in the athletics world. Uh, how big of an influence has that kind of had on you to I mean, we're all athletes in our family, and uh, we all get competitive, and it's really just pick your poison. I mean, with Jordan playing football, I didn't really change the way I felt about football, or my brother played football. I mean, we all played every sport. I just always loved ball, but it's always nice to have somebody I can call whenever I have a question about, you know, the next level, or how things should be done, or how I should carry myself. And it's just a phone call away. Yeah, I saw your related by marriage to Kyle Whittingham. How close are you guys? I mean, we don't you know, talk on a day-to-day -day basis, but, you know, whatever, you know, pain we can to use, kind of, he'll make sure he'll tell my aunt something, and she'll go ahead and call my mom and tell me, and now I'll see him on the sidelines and smirk at me, and it's like, all right, it's all good. And you're a distant cousin of man type, Yeah, that was way down on life, way down Do you guys even know each other? Yeah, I mean, yeah, we talk here, man, he just tells me to keep, every time I, I'll post a picture while I was working out or about football, he'll just tell me to keep working and remain home. In what ways has Cody Kessler improved as a quarterback over the last three seasons, in your opinion? I just feel like he's, gone, he's gained a lot more poise than he's had in the past season. And he's just, he's a mature quarterback. He can stand in that pocket. You've seen him take a couple of hits. Probably stood in the pocket longer than he should have. But that's just him being brave and looking for the receiver down the field. And Cody's a great quarterback. He's a great uh, game time manager. And he doesn't make a lot of mistakes. And I think any great quarterback would love to have those traits. How much does it bother you and the guys in the program that it's been a long time since you see it? Oh, you guys be UCLA. I mean, it stinks. I mean, it's our rival. Our time rival. Same city. And, of course, we want to be UCLA. But at the same time, we don't dwell on the past every season. And every start is a new season, and I mean that's a game you can't, you know, you can't guess. You can't, you can't tell the outcome of that game before the season starts. It's really when that game comes, and we'll take it from there. Does Coach Sarkeesian do a lot of callbacks to sort of those glory years, the mid 2000s, when you guys were? 
I mean, he'll, he, I mean, he'll talk about him here and there, but that's in the past. Uh, you know, we are the USC of now, and we, we need to you know, keep that tradition of winning coming on. But we are our own team. We're not those teams back in the early days. So, but this is Sark's team, and uh, it's going to be an exciting year.